This learning video will focus on optimization regions for the PT optimization feature in RAM Concept. A new optimization layer and optimization plan were added to the program for the modeling of optimization regions. These can be accessed through the layer tree on the left side of the program window or from the layers pull down menu at the top of the screen. Optimization regions have two main purposes. First, they break up large optimization problems into smaller parts to keep solution time within a reasonable range. Second, they can be used to identify one or more specific parts of a floor to be optimized. So if you wanted to focus on one critical area of a floor, you could model an optimization region in that area. Then only the objects within that region would be optimized and all objects outside the region would not be changed during the optimization process. However, those objects outside the region would still be considered in the calculations. For best performance, we recommend limiting the number of optimizable properties in any one optimization region to around 50, and the program enforces a hard limit of 75. The number of optimizable objects in any optimization region is displayed in the optimization dialog when starting a new optimization. In this model, there are 96 optimizable properties in the whole slab. Since the number is greater than the hard limit of 75, we will need to model optimization regions to break the floor into smaller pieces. If the number of optimizable objects listed here for the whole slab was less than 75, we could have chosen not to model any optimization regions and the program would optimize all the objects automatically. In general, it is best to use as few optimization regions as possible when optimizing an entire floor. For this model, I will use two optimization regions to break the floor into halves. After the regions are modeled, the number of optimizable properties in each region will be displayed. You can review that number to make sure that it's less than the suggested limits. If you do not see the number of optimizable objects displayed, you can plot it using the Visible Objects dialog. Just check the number of optimizable objects shown here. One important point to keep in mind with optimization regions is that an optimizable object is automatically split where it crosses the border of an optimization region. For example, in this model, the band of 10 and polylines are modeled continuous across the interior spans. They will be split at the region boundary before the optimization begins. The interior distributed tendon quadrilaterals also extend over several of the interior spans. Like the band of tendon polylines, these quadrilaterals will be split at the border of the optimization region at the center of the floor. The splitting of the optimizable objects occurs when the start optimization dialog is opened. Because the splitting changes the model, you will be prompted to save the model. You can choose a different to save the file with a different file name so that you can revert back to the original model if needed. If we review the banded tendon polylines now, we will see that the interior banded polyline has been split at the optimization region boundary. If we review the distributed tendon quadrilaterals, we also see that they have been split. When regions are required, a good rule of thumb is to define the optimization region to match expected slab pores. This has the added benefit that tenant quantities can change at region boundaries due to the object splitting, which is also normally possible at poor breaks. Errors can occur when splitting distributed tenant areas if the split results in geometry that is not a quadrilateral shape. For example, if one of the optimization regions was modeled so that its border was slightly skewed to one of the slab edges, then a fatal error would be displayed when attempting to start the optimization. We can click on this error prompt here to help identify which optimization region or distributed tenon quadrilateral needs to be modified to resolve the problem. It is good practice to draw optimization regions using snaps in such a way that their corners snap along a common edge and are connected to prevent small gaps. Also, you may want to model the distributed tenon quadrilaterals so that they snap to the slab edge and then extend the optimization regions just outside the slab edge as shown here to prevent splitting errors like the one that we just demonstrated. 